Hi everybody, uh, in this video we're going to be having a look at how we can add remote points in order to, for us to add remote mass or remote forces to our assemblies. Okay, So sometimes it's useful for us to not have to model everything in our, in our assembly and so sometimes on, for example in this assembly there could be a component that is bolted to this bracket and then there's a force that's being applied at the end of this bracket. Um, so what you can see is I've added a split face to my assembly and I'm going to add a remote point to this section here. So to do that all I need to do is go onto the geometry tab here. Um, so I'm going to right click here, insert and go remote point. Okay so you can see here down in the menu it's asking me to uh, select some geometry so I'm just going to select this face, click apply and you can see the position of it is dependent on the global coordinate system. So you can see the global coordinate system in here and so everything, all of the dimensions in this remote point are relative to that point. So realistically the X and the Z should be zero so I'm just going to change that to zero and then the Y coordinate is the distance out here so this is what I want to control. You can see here we've got all these connectors so what happens is it connects all the nodes within this point to our remote point. Um, sometimes it might not show when you first load it up so if you click on the remote points tab here you'll see that it says show connection lines so if, it, if it's not activated it will just show up like this however you can activate them by changing it to that. So if we go to a remote point I want to change the Y coordinate to 100 Okay, and we can see where it is now so it's pulling out to 100 so when I apply my force I'm applying it at this point and so obviously that's going to affect the component differently to if I apply it on this face. Um, there are a couple of options what we can do with these connection types. So you can see here the first one, behavior, is deformable. And if you click on that and go down you'll see there are various different types. So we've got rigid, coupled and beam. So depending on which one you choose depends on the kind of uh, analysis that you want to run and depends on the scenario in which the force would be applied. So deformable means that um, at the nodes on this face uh, they will deform and so these are not actually adding any stiffness. Okay, If you change it to rigid then that means that they're harder to move so it will add some stiffness to your assembly. I will investigate that later. So what we now need to do is apply force at this end. So if we click on st uh, static structural, uh, right click, insert what we can see is that you've got this one called remote force. So I'm going to click on that and in scoping method it says geometry. I'm going to change that to remote point and then I should be able to just select the remote point that I've created. Okay so we can see we've got the remote point in there and now we just need to add the force like we would in any other way. So I'm going to change it to components and in Z I'm just going to go minus 100. Okay, so you can see we're applying a force at our remote point. So I'm just going to add in some solutions here. So let's go total. And let's insert this and we will go stress equivalent. And so let's solve this and see what happens. Okay, so we've got our solution. So if we have a look at deformation, okay, we're getting the kind of movement that we would expect. Okay, and the equivalent stress. Okay, so that's all looking fine. Um, so what's worth doing now is actually having a look at seeing how these uh, remote point uh, behaviors make a difference. So if we have a look at the stress here, what we've got 17 megapascals as our maximum. So that's because we're not adding any stiffness using the remote point. Uh, but what we can do is change this to rigid. So that means it's harder to for this to move, and if we rerun this solution, what we're going to see is that the stress is reduced. Okay, so we're only getting 11.5. So that means that it's adding some stiffness to the surface by joining up the nodes at this point. Okay, so obviously, depending on your scenario, it will depend on the kind of behavior that you're uh, seeking from your remote point. Okay, but that's basically how we add remote points to our assembly. 